Hi, my name is Crystal Shankowitz, and I am an MPC figure competitor. Um, this is actually my first year competing, but I've actually been an athlete all my life, so I've always been in the gym, been training for about 10 years or so, and just realized um, that I wanted to take my training to the next level. I actually thought I was really in good shape before, but just this year transformed into something completely different. Um, first couple shows, I realized that I uh, needed to bring my legs down a little bit, so my trainer and I, Ryan Watson, have been working on um, bringing down the size of my legs just by incorporating more sprints, jogging and plyos, and working on more of my upper body, like my shoulders and my back, my lats. So today I'm going to take you through one of my back and bicep workouts and hope you like it. I usually just start off with pull-ups, wide grip pull-ups, because first of all, it's definitely one of the hardest exercises for me to do. So I like to try to do them first to get them to get warmed up and get them out of the way since I have the most strength at the beginning of your workout. There you go, five, perfect, jump, 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 I work out because, for one thing, it definitely makes me feel good. I think it makes it can make anybody feel good knowing that they're in the best shape of their lives. And continuing to better yourself and to learn new things is always appealing. You meet great people when you're in the gym. Um, you meet great people. You meet. You get great opportunities, like this, for example. Um, I'm allowed to share my workout with muscular development. Let's go. Fuck. You got it. Come on. Eight, me too. Now let's go. Nine, last one. Eight, work for it. You got to work right here, Crystal. Pull, pull, pull. There you go. Okay. Nice. <laughs> so give me, a, give me as many as you can, clean and strict on your own, okay? okay. And we're gonna get three negatives after that, okay? Last set, last set right here, but come on. Everything you got right here now, let's go. One week out now, let's go, come on. There you go, come on. Back on stage, Chris. I've actually been training about 10 years now. I'm 28 years old, and um, it, it's kind of funny because I actually needed to shave down some of my muscle that I actually developed over the years. Um, I competed in powerlifting competitions, little things like that, and uh, eventually just built size up over time. Seven, here you go. Last three, I want to hit one negative. Pull up there. Five mm. second negative. Four, five, four, three, two, good. Two more, just like that. Here we go. Five, oh, I dropped it. <laughs> Wait. Up. Five, four, three, two, go. Last one, just like that. One, two, up. Come out, up. Come out, five, four, three, two. <sighs> Good job, girl. Good Thank job. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. reverse grip because I feel like I have a better grasp on it and I feel like I can hit it heavier and harder when I do so. Um, so I'm going to do four sets and increase the weight each set and then on the last one I'm going to drop it down and just burn it out. do as many reps as I can. Being a little depleted right now, um, not as strong as I would normally be during the off season, but uh, then I'm gonna strip the weight off and then just use the bar and 
burn out as many reps as I can. I guess I started working out, well, first of all, because it was actually um, something that I always did, but when I was more of an athlete, it was more athletic training, um, basketball and track and stuff like that. But um, as, as I developed my knee injuries, I wasn't able to, to play basketball anymore. Um, I started getting into the gym, and it kind of gave me that feeling that I was there finally again as far as being an athlete and taking it to another level as where with basketball, I knew that it wasn't going to be going anywhere else. What we do now is more of a circuit for your back. I'm going to try to do each set of my circuit 12 times and then repeat three times. Just training back and shoulders twice a week, and legs once a week with more of the plyos and the jogging and sprints, like I said, and then um, one day off and then one day just cardio. I always, I always truly believe that your body needs to rest at least one day, even when you are competing, because that's the most crucial time for any athlete to actually get any time rest is to take one day off for themselves. Gym is something that I probably have done for about 10 years now. Um, I played basketball all throughout my life and overcame injury after injury after injury. I tore my ACL three times. Um, after the third time, they're like, you know, you gotta stop. There's no way. So finally, when I was about was almost on my toe. 18, 19, I just realized that I needed to um, take it to another level where I'm actually being more physically fit. Um, got certified as a personal trainer, started training. Um, something to be more in the fitness field rather than what I was doing at the time, which is um, I was an insurance agent for a long time. But uh, at this point in my life, um, I really do want to get my pro card. I'm sure everybody else does, but I really do want to uh, be able to accomplish that goal of mine, maybe uh, get other sponsors that are out there, put myself out there as being marketable and being a true athlete. Big back. <laughs> I try to do a lot of stuff for my back wide. Um, being a figure competitor, obviously they want you to look very symmetrical. Um, broad shoulders, wide lats, um, small waist. Uh, bringing down my legs just a little bit and bringing up my upper body. I think I have um, a pretty fair advantage with this show coming up in 10 days, so just trying to give you the best I can. <laughs> I give um, props to any athlete that can come 10 days out from a show and not give up. <laughs>
because to, to be honest, I mean, that's where you find true athletes. Your heart's in it or it's not. So if your heart's in it, it doesn't matter what you got to do to get it done, but you find some way to do it. I also um, want to say thank you very much to Smoothie Junction for helping me out with supplying supplements and giving me support that I need in my shows, helping me out with the cost of everything. Everything um, that I get from them, knowing that I have somebody that's actually going to be there for me and support me and know that what I'm trying to do is you know, important to me and just mm -hmm. the support from all my friends and family is also much appreciated too. <laughs> my next set, I'm going to superset a back exercise with some bicep curls. You'd use your biceps anyway when you're, doing, when you're training back. So I really try not to incorporate too many exercises when I'm doing triceps or biceps because you're doing shoulders and triceps together and you're also doing back and biceps together. So I probably only do about two different bicep exercises. Um, incorporated into my back workouts because I already got guns anyway. <laughs> Even though I've been training for years, um, this is actually my first year competing and I feel really blessed um, to have placed fifth in uh, the southern states in Fort Lauderdale this year which is a huge level five national qualifier. Um, I was two spots away from qualifying for nationals and with this next show coming up in 10 days, the Florida State Championships, I really feel confident and I feel ready and I'm definitely determined to qualify and eventually take it to the next level to be able to, to compete in a national show. Hopefully, I'll be able to do that in Miami this year and see how I do. incorporate some of a, somewhat of a leg workout when I'm doing these because I actually haven't lifted legs in about 12 weeks um, since I really couldn't lift any heavier and like I've been doing the plyos and the um, sprints and the jogging I kind of like to um, incorporate walking lunges in my workout sometimes or just standing squats just to kind of keep everything tight and toned and um, without building too much muscle.
And as far as attempting to uh, get my pro card, um, I'd also be interested in doing any kind of fitness modeling or doing any kind of endorsements or getting any kind of other sponsorships out there that um, other companies might be able to use, anything that I might be able to provide to them. So that's also an aspiration of mine besides getting my pro card, of course. Okay. Anybody looking for any type of fitness models or any type of video work, whatever the case is, I'd really be more interested in getting into the fitness side of things. Um, you can always contact me on Facebook. Uh, my full name is Crystal Shankowitz. I know it's a long last name, but you can find it on the forums under Muscular Development, and that information will be on the website as well. Uh, so if there is any anybody interested out there, I'd really love to get into work like that. So you can definitely. Hit me up on Facebook and I'll be happy to uh, discuss any future opportunities. Second, I would definitely like to say thanks to all my friends and family that actually supported me through my training and knowing and supporting me for what I do and what I love. Um, another special thanks to Ryan Watson. Check it out, ryanwatsonfitness.com. Um, he's definitely someone who def inspired me and to kind of got me into the whole competition side of uh, training. He looked at me and knew I had the potential to do it, but never thought that I'd be able to, Never, I would never thought that I would have taken it this far. Um, so definitely check out the website, ryanwatsonfitness.com. And I also want to thank Powerhouse Gym for giving me such an awesome facility to be able to work out at. I love it here, wouldn't want to train anywhere else. Powerhouse Gym, downtown Tampa Bay. Okay, so that's it, that was one of my billion back workouts. Um, I do like to change up my routine every so often to keep things a little bit more motivating. I always like to try new things. Um, I want to thank Muscular Development for allowing me to share this with you and uh, look for me in the future. Um, hopefully I'll be able to qualify um, in the next 10 days on August 20th to do the Florida State Championships and eventually get what I want most, my pro card. Thank you.